What does that say? <laughs> or auditions. Well, A, you don't spell it like that, and B, I'm not so sure that we're having this children's BBC Christmas pantomime, spe <laughs> especially if you're writing it. Fantastic Max follows clockwise. supporters and our three pairs of teams who are poised ready to play this week's clockwise let's meet the blue team first of all who are Emma and Tim hello to you and where are you from the Scott Junior School in Cornwall and uh, what's your favorite pop group Emma Michael Jackson's Michael what about you Tim in excess oh a man with taste there and the orange team this week are Miriam and Reese and where are you two from Aberdeen primary school in Aberdeen welcome to you two and um, Miriam, perhaps you could tell me, do you have any ambitions? I'd like to become a nurse. Very good, I wish you luck with that. What about you, Rhys? I'd like to become famous. Well, you've come to the right place. In any particular area? In sport. Oh, well, good luck with that. I'll watch out for you. And last but by no means least, the green team are Carolyn and Ian. And where are you two from? St Peter's Junior School in Marlborough, Wiltshire. Carolyn, what's your favourite pop group? Jason Donovan. Oh, surprise, surprise! I've never heard that before. And what about you, Ian? Do you like doing it? I like computers and canoeing. Because they both begin with C. Very neat. As well as trying to beat each other, our teams are also trying to get the highest scores to become one of the clockwise top three. <laughs> this week, the top three remain the same. In third place are Oscar and Nicola from Chagford in Devon with 125 points. In second place are Matthew and Lucy from Ilsham in Torquay with 135 points. And at number one, Roly and Rebecca from Stroud with 145 points. <laughs> Right, let's see if you can put your names up there and win a place in the grand final to win even bigger and better prizes because here we go with round one, which of course is a race to the face. The aim is to get to the top of this scale here. So if you're ready, fingers on the buzzers, here we go. Who is this man's mother-in-law? Orange team. Queen mother. Correct, it was in co of course Prince Philip. Which comedian plays the character Delbert Wilkins? Orange team. Lenny Henry. Correct, orange. Is the capital city of West Germany Berlin, Bonn, Orange Team? Bonn. It is correct. Where does this rodent live? Have a look at your screens. <coughs> Blue Team. In the sewers. Exactly right. He's rolling rat. What colour is someone said to be if they are a coward? <coughs> green Team. Yellow. Correct, greens. And you're off. Picasso, Rembrandt, Van Gogh were all famous. <coughs> orange Team. Artists. Correct, orange. What does this man do for a living? Have a look at your screens. Orange team. Boxing. Correct, it's Mike Tyson. What is the capital city of Russia? Orange team. Moscow. Correct, orange. <laughs> and that's the end of the round. The orange team, in amazingly quick time, have got up to the top of the scale and scored 30 points. Let's have a look at the overall scores then. The green and the blue team are on equal pegging, both with five points. But way ahead, the orange team with 30 points. <laughs> Now, of course, Orange, that means that you go first in our 45-second challenge. We are now concentrating on the numbers in the inner circle. OK, each number is the answer to one of the following questions. If you light up that number correctly, you win five points. But you only have 45 seconds to do it, and that starts now. How many wheels has Del Boy's van? Three. Correct. How many days in June? Thirty. Correct. How many clubs in a pack of cards? Four. No, thirteen. How many grandchildren has the Queen got? No, five. Which number represents 9pm on a 24-hour clock? 21. Correct. If January is month number one, which number is given to July? Seven. Correct. How many digits are there in 500,000? Seven. No, six. How many minutes in an hour and a quarter? 75. Correct. How many make up the band of the Pet Shop Boys? Two. Correct. How many canine teeth do humans have? Four. Correct. Which number is immediately to the right of 20 on a dartboard? One. Correct. And how many stars on the American flag? You can answer that. 50. Correct. Which means at the end of that round, you've managed to light up nine numbers, which has taken your score up to 75. Yeah! Now... The blues and the greens are neck and neck, but the blue is slightly nearer, so I'll start off with you. And your 45 seconds starts now. How many in half a dozen? 
Six. Correct. How many days has February in a leap year? Twenty-eight. No, it's twenty-nine, I'm afraid. How many more days has a leap year than a normal year? One. One. Correct. How many players in a football team? Eleven. Correct. At the Mad Hatter's tea party, were there two people and how many animals? Four. No, there were two animals. How many cards in a pack, excluding jokers? Fifty-two. Two. Correct. How many legs has a tripod? Three. Three. Correct. In degrees Fahrenheit, what is the temperature at which water freezes? Twenty-nine. No, it's thirty-two. How many noughts are there in ten million? Four. No, seven. To complete a band's name, what follows UB? Forty. Correct. In years, how long is an American presidential term? Four. Correct. And that's the end of your 45 seconds. At the end of that round, you've managed to light up seven numbers, which has taken your score up to 40 points. Yeah! Now, Green Team, I hope you didn't mind me asking the blues first, but you were neck and neck. You, of course, are trying to light up the numbers in the green section, and your 45 seconds starts now. To the nearest whole number, how many pounds are there in a kilogram? Four. Two. The worth in pence of the second most valuable coin in common usage? Fifty. Correct. In miles per hour, what is the speed limit in a built-up area? Thirty. Correct. How many eyes did a cyclops have? One. One. Correct. How many times a week is it 11 o'clock? 14. Correct. How many varieties of hinds are there supposed to be? Eight. No, 57. As of now, how many Rocky films have been released? Four. Correct. How many squares has a noughts and crosses board? Nine. Correct. How many in two baker's dozen? Eleven. No. no. Twenty-six. Correct. How many corners has a cube? Eight. Correct. In which century... I'll finish that question. In which century was the Battle of Hastings fought? Eleven. Correct. And at the end of that round, you've managed to light up nine numbers, which takes your score up to 50 points. Yeah! Well done. And so, at the end of the 45-second challenge, let's have a look at the overall scores. In third place, the blue team with 40 points. Just sneaking ahead with 50 points, the green team, but still in the lead with 75 points, the orange team! Yeah! And now it's time for you, the supporters, to get involved. Each week, of course, we have a different 60-second wind-up, and this week it's the three-legged challenge. <laughs> The three-legged challenge is basically a relay race. We have one team here with her supporters, one team there with your supporters. The idea is for that team to transfer to that side, that side, transfer to that side. Easy peasy, but of course it's three-legged, which means their legs are tied to their supporters' legs and they also have to hop, jump, skip, or, or walk even, over the obstacle here. So if you're ready, the fastest team will win the five points. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Well done, I've never seen it done so fast before. Which means the five points goes to the blue team! Yeah! And at the end of that round, the extra five points went to the blue team, which has taken their score up to 45, which means although they're still in third place, they're only five points away from second place. And anything could happen as we go into the next round and play Numbo Jumbo. Now this, of course, is a free-for-all on the outer circle of numbers. Each number is the answer to one of these questions. So if you're ready, fingers on the buzzers. Here we go with the first question. Take the number of days in April from the number of days in May and you get... Orange team. One. Correct, Orange. In which year did Prince Charles marry Lady <coughs> Diana? Blue team. I can hand that over. Green team. 81. Correct, Greens. What number is 106 upside down? Orange team. 101. Correct, Orange. Add the number of letters in May to those in October and you get... <coughs> blue team. 10. Correct, Blues. How many years is a golden anniversary? <coughs> blue team. 50. Correct, Blues. How many hours in half a day? Orange team. 12. Correct, Orange. How many bars has a typical farmyard gate? Blue team. Four. No, I can hand it over. Green Five. team. 
Correct greens. Oh, and that noise means it's the end of the game. I don't believe it. It was neck and neck all the way, but the greens have just jumped into the lead. So let's have a look at the overall scores. The blues have 55 points. The green team have 60 points. The orange team have 90 points, which means it's the green team and the orange team that go through to the next round. To play the game. so close but there are your clockwise pens i hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for being excellent contestants on clockwise yeah! okay teams now this is the head-to-head -head. and remember only one team can win through to play big ben and have a minute to win it and this is the round that decides who it will be now the aim of this game is to get your mouse to the top of the scale but importantly also to score the highest points you can all clear are you ready here we go in which continent is the river nile located yeah. orange team africa correct orange you go up to what are nimbostratus and yeah. cumul orange Clouds. team correct orange what is the largest country in the world yeah. orange team ussr correct orange storming ahead here come on greens give them a bit of a cheer yeah. Which strong substance covers your teeth? Orange team. Enamel. Correct, orange. Whoa, getting dangerously close to the top. 130 points, place 60. Come on, greens. Which planet is also a Disney character? Orange team. Pluto. Correct, orange. And you've got to the top of your scale, and you have 140 points, which means you win that round and go through to play yeah! this round. Greens, I'm sorry we're going to have to lose you, but there you go, your clockwise clocks, and of course, there you are, Ian and Carolyn, your clockwise pens, and thank you very much for playing clockwise. Yeah! <laughs> okay, Miriam and Reese, this is the big moment. Here's Big Ben and a chance to win some fantastic prizes for yourselves. Your three mice are lit up. They're worth small, medium and large size prizes, and of course, you know you've got to get them all three mice past midnight. But we don't make it as easy as that because, of course, you only have a minute to win it. The minute hand will be ticking away, which gives you 60 seconds to answer the questions, which start now. How many heads has Dr. Doolittle's Push Me Pull You? One. Two. Correct, two. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock at what time? One. One. Correct. Ebony refers to which colour? Green. No, black. Where do you find a clutch and a choke? Car. Car. Correct. How many fiddlers did old King Three. Cole have? Correct. What does an object do if it revolves? Go backwards. Go backwards. Turn, turns no, round. Turns round, correct. Which jungle animal is called the king of the beasts? Lion. Lion. Correct. Who would live in a monastery? Monk. Monk. Correct. What sport has tries? Rugby. Co of course. Whom did Prince Charming marry? Sleeping Beauty. Beauty. No, Cinderella. What colour is a blackbird's beak? Yellow. Yellow. Correct. What does a braille system help to read? Black. Whom Blind does it people. help to read? Blind people. Correct. Which wizard? Gave away a heart, a brain, and courage. Oz. Wizard of Oz. Correct. Which vet talked to the animals? Dr. Doolittle. Correct. <laughs> that means... Well done, you two. There you are, your clockwise you. clocks and your clockwise pens. You. Congratulations. And as well as that, Miriam, you have chosen a selection of LPs, a hairdryer, and stereo cassette recorder. And Reese, you chose the East Ender game, the Brick Quiz, and also the stereo cassette recorder. Those will be yours. Thank you for playing Clockwise. As well as that, you scored 140 points, which means you're now lying second in our Clockwise Top 3, so we may even see you in the Grand Final. But for now, thank you for playing Clockwise. We'll see you same time next week on Tickety Top Clockwise. <laughs>